Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Room Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're gonna show you how you can take your whiteboards and send them straight to email from the device itself. So let's get started. I'm gonna bring up the laptop here and bring up my Chrome browser. And you'll see here, I'm actually already signed into WebEx Control Hub to make this a little quicker. And I'm gonna resize the window here so you can see this better. Uh, click on the board itself. And I'm gonna scroll down here to launch the web portal for the board, the device itself. And this is the, the unit that's right behind me here. So this is gonna cross launch and log me in. And I'll go back to full screen. So if you'll see here under the setup tab, there is a, uh, I, a link there for email settings. We're gonna go there. And this is where you actually can do a manual configuration. And we actually have this really helpful wizard that you can use to set up your email. So from here, you're gonna set up the SMTP server that you wanna use. This could be your own server, it could be an Exchange server, uh, it could be Gmail, it could be Office 365. For this demo, we're actually gonna show you an Office 365 account. And you have to know your server address, and I happen to know it, smtp.office365.com. You'll need to know what type of encryption you're using if you're using encryption. I happen to know that we use Start TLS and Port 587 for Office. So once you get that information in there, you go ahead and hit Test Connection. It's gonna go out and make sure it can connect. As you see here, we have a successful connection. And that's gonna now bring us into the authorization page where we actually put in the user account we're wanting to use. This can be any account, it could be a personal account. Generally, we do like a, uh, most companies will want to do a, an admin account or some sort of uh, whiteboard account or maybe even an account specifically for the device itself if you're using hybrid calendar. A um, lot of different ways to do this, not a right or wrong way. In this particular demo, we're just gonna use a generic admin account that we have. So I'm gonna go in here and start to type in admin at WebEx Avengers. Put in the password, no peeking. And then you also have the ability to change or add in the from email address. And where this might be useful is you may have a, a, an account that you wanna do, but maybe you wanna send these from a, a no reply email address or something like that to where if someone does reply, they're not actually going to, uh, to get uh, any response. We don't necessarily want them to reply to someone. But for this demo, we're gonna keep it as the admin. Oops, if I spell it right. So we're gonna verify this, make sure that I typed everything in correctly. We have a successful connection. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the board and this is gonna be a little difficult to see uh, because of some of the white balancing we're gonna have with the camera here. Um, so hopefully I can get a little bit better uh, view, but um, I'm gonna bring up the, uh, the board here. The other good thing about this is, is that um, I'm actually gonna show you some screenshots as well here in a second. So uh, hopefully we can get a pretty good uh, uh, interface for you to be able to see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing on the board here, just drawing something random, uh, put in a different color maybe. As you can see, I'm a great artist. And let's go ahead and throw on a sticky note. And we'll kind of move that around. So I've got my whiteboard here and you can see that this is very, very crucial information. So we need to save this. And um, if you look down here on the bottom, I actually have the save and I have an email button now available to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say email. That's gonna bring up another uh, menu system for me to kind of go through here. Now this is a little hard to see. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch over here to my laptop. And I'm gonna bring up another menu here, and I'm gonna take a screenshot of what we're actually seeing here on the on-screen display. So this is something that, that, that we have uh, the ability to do so I can make this a little bit easier for everybody to see. And uh, I'm actually gonna do it from this one right here. This is the one I was logged into. So I'm gonna go to my user interface screenshots. I'm gonna take a screenshot. So as you can see here, this is the dialogue that I have behind me. And what it's saying is, it's basically letting me choose the whiteboard or whiteboard. So if I had multiple whiteboards, I could select multiple ones to save. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and interface on my board and hit next. And I'm gonna take another screenshot so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here, or what I'm seeing. So now you see that we have this new screen here where it's asking you to email a PDF. So as I start to type into here, it's gonna start to bring up um, users in my org or email addresses, if I'm paired to the board, it would actually go ahead and bring that one up as well. Um, but in this case, uh, it's hard to see here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take another screenshot so you can see this uh, start to auto fill. So as you can see here, this is automatically finding me. So I'm gonna select myself. 
one more screenshot for you. And that's the recipient that I've selected to send to. I'm gonna hit the button and that's gonna send that off. So now within just a few seconds, I'm gonna go over here to my email account and you'll see Avenger Admin has sent me, here are your whiteboards. And in this email, I have a PDF attached, which I can open up. And as you guys will see, there's my sticky note and the wonderful uh, drawing that is very crucial for my uh, work environment here. So in a nutshell, that's how easy it is to be able to send uh, a, a whiteboard to email from a WebEx device, a WebEx board. So set it up, send those emails, and stay tuned for some more videos. So come back, keep watching. Thanks again.